All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Kill the Open channel. As you can see on the whiteboard, we are opening up a new limited print Star Wars art collection, ladies and gents. So this is the box that we're going to be opening up. It's a beautiful box. So this is a box that was printed in China. Uh, a little bit different today. We're opening up some Chinese products rather than uh, Japanese product. But uh, this is the Star Wars Global Art Series, ladies and gents. This is a limited printed set. They only made around uh, 2,000 uh, cases. So each case has like 12 boxes or so in it. Uh, limited, very, very limited print that is printed by Card Hobby, Card.Hobby or Card.Fun. Uh, they are the same company, except they like to put Card.Hobby on there. But uh, it's printed by those guys. Uh, these boxes are an official Disney product, which is very, very crazy because not a lot of stuff you can buy in China. A lot of box cards you buy in China are ripoffs, not officially licensed. Uh, but uh, you can buy these boxes on AliExpress uh, a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago um, for like 60 bucks. And since the popularity of the set has shot up, uh, these boxes have reached about $165 per box to $200 per box, uh, anywhere ranging in those prices. The reason why those are popular is because, like I said, this is a limited print set, and I managed to get uh, a couple boxes. I've already opened up a couple boxes, and I decided to keep one sealed for you guys so you guys can enjoy the cards with me. So, this is a art set. So, even though this the box is written in uh, Chinese, the cards are actually written in English, and you'll see that here shortly. Uh, each box, so we have four boxes in a booster box, or four mini boxes, in a booster box, so this is considered a booster box. Each one of these boxes has 12 cards in it, and then within these four boxes, we have a chance, or every box has a uh, numbered card, a limited print number card in each box. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples before we open this box up. So here's one of the foil 90 style stormtroopers, very, very beautiful card. This is not a number card, but as you can see, uh, these cards are all in English. Pretty much and it is stamped by the lucas films and every card so that this is what a hollow will look like these are thicker cardstock cards uh the back see like card dot funds on the back of that very beautiful card these cards are really really good so the hollows are beautiful in this set but that's not what we're looking for so this is a darth vader it is in a, a um card saver it's not going to really do it justice unless i take it out of there but this is basically what we're looking for for the hitters here ladies and gents so every box has one of these cards it's got a gold gold foiling and it is numbered so this is 51 out of 100 this is what we're looking for in those boxes and these are beautiful beautiful cards i'm going to take it out of the sleeve real quick so i can show you but these are very very detailed art cards uh, we're going to save that art card for last if we get in here. So if we open up this box and it's in there, we're going to save it for last. But these boxes are absolutely beautiful. The only thing that I do not like about these boxes is the way that they package their cards in here. For 165 bucks that you're going to be paying for these booster boxes, um, they could have did a little bit better of a job of packaging. So you get four boxes. Each of these boxes is themed differently and they are all in this beautifully packaged. Like each of them have a different design on them. Uh, every booster box you buy, I believe there's like 17 different boxes you could get that have different artworks on it. And then this one's just got the Star Wars on it. And then of course they got Darth Vader. There are lots of Darth Vader cards in this set. Beautiful heavy duty box. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Very, very heavy duty. Love it. Um, but then we have these boxes here. So like I said, each... So these are just basically little deck boxes that have cards in it. So they did not really do a decent job of sleeving these cards up. Or not really putting them in here so they will be protected. And you will see that here shortly if, if I can get these open because I've never actually opened these myself let me get something to get these open and I'll be right back all right so apparently this knife that I had was super dull I decided to go grab a different one so I know for a fact this one will work on it so hopefully I don't scratch the artwork on here 
And I did right on that. Well, wonderful. So, great way to start the opening here, ladies and gents. They really packaged these really, really tough. Of course, a guy that doesn't have any fingernails is going to struggle here. So, we're just going to have to do it like that. I didn't want to do that. So, this box is scratched. Good thing I probably have a duplicate of this somewhere laying around. Of course, we're going to have some technical difficulties here, ladies and gentlemen. So... Without further ado so like I said these are basically just deck boxes of course I ruined the one that's get the most beautiful artwork wonderful so basically they're just deck boxes and of course the first one I open up is gonna have our gold signature card in it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that for the very end right there ladies and gentlemen we're just gonna open up another one of course we don't want to go through the biggest hit right at the beginning and of course we don't want that to happen again there are also diff not just number cards that you can get but you can also get signature cards uh, i believe there's one in every case and there is also a lightsaber card that you can get as well so like i said packaging cards can slide around in there very very easily uh not the best packing choice but i gotta say the boxes are phenomenal very very collectors boxes so each pack has 12 cards and a code card it looks like and each pack is filled with hollows so there's your holographic thing and of course I opened this upside down don't know why that back card is upside down it might be something decent so without further ado ladies and gentlemen we have Darth Vader as well we have the Millennium Falcon very very nice we have Han Solo and again all these cards are like thicker cardstock so they're very very awesome art cards uh, we have Boba Fett or Django Fett. We have Jedi. We have Luke. So this is a very, very um, Jedi-themed pack. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi. Very nice. We have Darth Vader. We have Jedi again twice. We have a very, very cool Stormtrooper. So again, like this is an art set. So all these cards are going to be different art styles. Very, very cool. Oh, wait. Oh, hold up. What do we get here? We have droids hollow. I don't know if that's a, a signature or what. That is cool. Wow. Droids. I think that might be a signature. Hold up. And then we have a very, very cool Yoda with a ups. Oh, no, that wasn't upside down with that. Very cool. I think we might have just got a signature card. I could be mistaken here, ladies and gents. That is sick. Hold up. So, I want to see if these penny sleeves will fit that I have. Oh, they will. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at the droids. Very, very beautiful card, ladies and gents. So, just because that is like a artwork card, we're going to put that... Or not artwork, but higher tier card... I believe we're going to keep that right there on a stand. I do have another stand for when we hit that gold card, but we're just going to take in that awesome Yoda, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very cool. So first box, very, very nice. Second box, here we go. Actually, I could have just did this with this instead. I am just, it's like 3 in the morning, ladies and gents, so if I am struggling, that is why. Usually I'm up, usually I'm awake at this time, but... Are very very awake at this time but today it's just like it's just one of those off days you, you guys ever have those days let me know in the comments below so another beautiful art box very cool let me set that there so i believe that is a signature card which i'm very very happy with so again we have another one of these hollow card fun qr code thingamajigs i don't know where that takes you so <laughs> i'm just gonna toss it in the trash can we have a beautiful stormtrooper Millennium Falcon again. We have a Stormtrooper uh, signature card. Very cool. Like art or uh, signature style. We have uh, Boba Fett. Very nice. Another Boba Fett. Very cool. We have Luke. So, like I said, different art styles. We have the written style. We have a Stormtrooper. Luke again. It looks like this is a. Uh, this booster box is a light side box. Very nice. Han Solo. Darth Vader. Very cool. I love these this art style. Oh, another Darth Vader. Oh, and then we have a gold hollow C-3PO. Very cool. 
very very nice and again all these are thicker cards as well and that was the end of that i don't think this oh wait is the darth vader hollow oh the darth vader is hollow very cool as well i didn't think that was hollow but it is it's got like that blotchy art style there very cool ladies and gentlemen that is phenomenal let me just leave these up real quick and again since this is such a new set and it is a chinese set um the market for these cards uh is a little bit everywhere right now so a lot of these hollows i will not be able to uh figure out what the uh prices are are exactly at this point in time so we have our third box Oop, here we go again we have the star wars star wars background very very cool for that one just gonna set that right there and we're just gonna dive whoop, right back into this and of course i opened it upside down so we have another boba fett oh we have like i said this is a jedi pack so we got luke skywalker jedi very cool oh we got general grievous that's sick i like that garth vader again art we have a c3po this is cool signature card Oh, we have an upside down signature princess leia oh we have star wars oh that's sick very cool oh awesome c3po very cool and we have a kylo ren so they did sprinkle in a little bit of new stuff in there kylo ren very very cool art emblem style luke skywalker oh we have a hollow c3po very cool and on the end we have oh that is sick anakin skywalker and it's got the blue background oh that is cool that is very cool i gotta be really careful with that because that foiling you can see the dust specks on there but that'll get scratched up really really quick wow is that beautiful very very cool I'm just going to set all of the hollows there. We'll go through them at the end again so we get a little nice spread of everything. So, ladies and gents, we're jumping into the very last box that has our gold in it, which is our number card, or it could be a signature, or that even might be a signature. Who knows? So, last box here, ladies and gents. Let's get it. Um, I kind of want to get... The gold card on the end. I'm going to move it to the back of the pack. Okay, I did that very, very flawlessly. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. So as you can see, it is in the very back. We have the walkers, the at, -AT walkers, the dark side, R2-D2, Han Solo, upside down C-3PO. Well, let's flip that back, back around. Very, very cool. Darth vader love this card very very cool Ooh, stormtrooper i like the uh charcoal art style on these cards beautiful but we have the chinese um art style there um vader repelling the rain with the force it's very very cool we have another kylo ren we have r2d2 in the like uh water paint art style very cool i love this and then we have a hollow droids i think that's a hollow yeah it's a hollow yeah hollow and the last but not least ladies and gents our gold card a numbered card is going to be oh my god it's the empire i don't know if that's a signature card or what it's got the death star in the background wow beautiful 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 and it is numbered 47 out of 100 wow 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 i can't get over how really good these cards are you'd be very very careful with this and i do not know if we can get these graded as of right now um like i said these cards are thicker card stocks i don't know if psa uh cgc or beckett or any other card grading uh services will be able to grade these but that is beautiful wow did we just get two two signatures in the one box here ladies and gents that is absolutely crazy
crazy and I forgot to sleeve up one more. We'll go through our hits for this beautiful art Star Wars box here, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys like this content and you want to see more of this artwork style boxes, let me know and I will see if I can get my hands on some more. So, without further ado, let me just grab these over here and we'll go through them. So all of our hollows, so you get, I believe, two hollows per box. So one, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so you get eight hollows in every booster box or collection box or whatever you want to call it. Very, very small boxes, but here we go. What do we, we got our beautiful hollow Yoda. Of course, the sleeves are not going to do the hollow justice. Just to keep these cards safe, I'm going to leave them in the sleeves to show them off. Beautiful Yoda hollow. We have the C-3PO hollow. Very, very cool. I think I may or may not have this one numbered. I'm not sure. We have the Anakin Skywalker uh, Hollow. I know this card goes for quite a bit of money because uh, I pulled the other one and somebody wanted it to buy it off of me. So, you got another Anakin Skywalker. Beautiful. And, of course, all these are numbered as well. So, you guys want to make a binder, you can. We have the Hollow Darth Vader, which has, like, the little... I don't know if you can see it with the sleeve, but it's got blotches of Hollow pattern on it. Very, very cool. We have the golden purplish mosaic C-3PO. I really like this a lot. We have the droids just plain Jane. Actually, no, I have this one numbered. Just plain Jane, art like hand-drawn C-3PO and R2. Very cool. Then we have first pack magic. We got this. I don't know if this is considered a signature or if it is. I'll put if it is on screen now, but that's beautiful. R2-D2 blue. I love the blue. So you get R2 and the other droid on the bottom of that. And then the back is like a signature. Very nice. I like that a lot. And last but not least for our gold card, Empire. You get the Death Star. We got Darth Vader there chilling. It says Empire and then it's sketched below it. Beautiful, beautiful card. Numbered 47 out of 100, ladies and gents. I am very, very happy with these cards. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, hit a like button. If you guys want me to see, see me open up more different TCGs, like maybe more Star Wars, um, other stuff like that. Because like this, these artwork style cards, I'm really, really liking. Uh, I'm starting to collect cards more for the artwork, not for the playability. Uh, I'm stepping into different TCGs. So like One Piece, you guys have been seeing me open a lot of One Piece. Um, and then Star Wars, I just got into it because this is a limited set series. So, might as well get on it while you, while you can, right? So, ladies and gents, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys later.